This video is sponsored by Coursera. If you're hoping to start a career in business intelligence or data analysis, you'll need to study, practice and hone your skills. Not only to build your project portfolio, but also to be ready and prepared for any technical questions that job interviews may throw at you. In this video, I'm going to talk about five awesome learning resources that you can use to practice and upskill to help you land your first job and kickstart your career. Hello and welcome to Learn BI Online with me, Adam Finer, helping you do more with data. So links to all the resources mentioned in the video are in the description below. Okay, let's jump straight in with number one. So the first resource is a website I found out about fairly recently. It's called Stratascratch, or Stratascratch, not really sure how it's pronounced. Anyway, it describes itself as a data science platform with over 1,000 real interview questions from your favorite companies. So companies like Facebook, Google, Airbnb, Microsoft, and Stripe. They have three paid plans that ultimately I'd suggest you sign up for, but if you are on a budget, you can just sign up for a free account. With a free account, you get access to 50 free coding questions for SQL and Python with solutions, so you can check your answers, and over 500 questions without solutions that you can use for practice and to get an idea of all of the kinds of interview questions you might come up against. The coding questions are all categorized by company, difficulty and question type, and you can apply various filters. So here they're filtered by free MySQL questions. If we go down to an easy one, bikes last used, which is a lift interview question. On the question page, it says we have to find the last time each bike was in use. Output both the bike number and the date timestamp of the bike's last use, i.e. the date time the bike was returned. All the results by bikes that were most recently used. So we can see the columns in our dataset and preview the data itself. We can see what the expected output is and even see approach hints if you need a little help. In order to solve the question, you write your SQL in the editor here. So you probably won't get much easier questions than that, but you get the idea. These questions can really help you up your SQL and Python game. So if you're not yet ready for Strata Scratch and you need to start learning SQL from scratch, or simply brush up on your existing knowledge, you have LearnSQL.com. It's a website offering a comprehensive set of 59 hands-on online SQL courses for teams and individuals. You get lifetime access to a single SQL course from just $29, but you can start with a free plan to test out the interface. And here's the good part. If you are a student, you can get completely free access to their full SQL basics course, which is a set of 129 interactive exercises. So that's really great for anyone wanting to get started with SQL. Like with Strata Scratch, you'll write the SQL queries and complete the exercises directly on the website with nothing to download. The courses are really easy to follow and are for all different levels from beginner to advanced in four different SQL dialects. It's definitely worth checking out. Next up is a learning platform that's actually the sponsor of today's video, Coursera. So Coursera is a fantastic, well-established and well-respected learning organization. It offers loads of different learning programs and professional certificates from companies like Google, Meta and IBM to help you choose a new career path. But being the Learn BI channel, the one program I'd like to focus on that I definitely think you should check out if you're serious about preparing for a new career as a BI or data analyst is the Google Data Analytics Professional Certificate. Over eight courses, you learn loads of in-demand skills that you'll need to get an entry-level data analyst job. And unlike courses you might find on other learning platforms, they are taught by Google employees. 
So after completing the certificate, you can share it on your CV or LinkedIn, and it will carry a lot of weight with potential employers and help you get that entry level job. So what will you learn and how long will it take? To answer the first question, you'll learn key analytical skills and tools to give you an immersive understanding of the practices and processes used by junior or associate data analysts in their day-to-day -day job. So things like data cleaning and analysis using spreadsheets, SQL and R programming, and data visualization, presentation and dashboards using Tableau, an industry standard BI tool. What's great is that the program requires no prior experience and is completely self-paced. If you're a total beginner at under 10 hours a week, you can complete the certificate in less than six months. But honestly, if you've already got some experience working with Excel, SQL and BI tools, it will be shorter than that. To check the program and its curriculum out, just click the link in the description to enroll for a free seven day trial. After that, a subscription is just $39 a month, which represents an absolute bargain considering the quality of the program and the impact it could have on you finding a well-paying job upon completion. Also, don't forget to check out all of the free courses available too. Thanks Coursera. Next is a fantastic website that you may already be familiar with, Kaggle.com. So Kaggle is an online community platform for data scientists and machine learning enthusiasts. But don't let that put you off. For BI and data analysts, it's a place where you can find and download loads of interesting data sets that you can use for practicing data analysis and visualization, and that you could potentially use for a portfolio project. Just go to datasets, then search by keyword or choose a category. If I choose data visualization and hit the first result, most subscribed 1000 YouTube channels, we get a description of the data. We can see what columns we've got to work with, and then we can download the dataset to our computer. Here I've uploaded the YouTube dataset to Looker Studio. Google's free to use BI tool so that I can play around with it and create a dashboard. Finally, if you want to practice with large data sets, you can get acquainted with Google's BigQuery, part of the Google Cloud Platform. Just click on the link in the description and that will take you to a page where you'll be guided through the setup process so you can start using what's called the BigQuery Sandbox. It gives you 10 gigabytes of active storage and one terabyte of processed query data per month for free. So not bad at all for practicing with. Once you're in the sandbox and you've created a project, you just go to add data and public data sets. From there, you'll find over 200 free to use large data sets. I'm talking millions of rows. You can either practice your SQL and query the data directly in BigQuery, or you can use Looker Studio, create a BigQuery data source and access the data from there so that you can analyze and build dashboards with it. I'm planning on making a step-by-step -step guide to getting started with BigQuery soon. So if you don't want to miss it, just subscribe to the channel and turn on all notifications. So what other resources have I missed that you think should be included on this list? Please do let me know in the comments below as I'm always on the lookout for new and interesting ways to learn new skills. Or perhaps you already have experience of the resources I mentioned in this video. If so, let us know your thoughts. One other resource, or at least tool, that isn't on the list but that I did mention a couple of times in the video is Looker Studio. If you're wanting to get started in business intelligence, for me it's the best BI tool out there for beginners. And it's completely free. For a quick 15 minute getting started tutorial, just click here. But before you do, I'd really appreciate it if you could give this video a thumbs up if you found it helpful. And while you're there, why not hit that subscribe button too? It really does help the channel. Thank you for watching and thanks to Coursera for sponsoring this video. I'll see you in the next one.